Hello everyone! Welcome back to Roots of Pacha! Oh, there's little Bunny. I'm like, where did Bunny go? Okay, Garrick has a new idea. Uh, he's been watching the river and has an idea to help in the fields. Well, we are definitely going to have to talk to him and see what that is all about. Oh, we have a rainy day too, so it would be a good day to try doing some fishing at the beach to see if we can get ourselves that very last uh, rainy day fish that we haven't seen yet, or at least for the seasons of spring to fall. <laughs> I still love this auto collection there. I like that we don't have to buy it as a separate thing. It just comes with the large barn upgrade or the large animal shed. And that is fantastic because it's not a separate thing we have to try and save up for. <coughs> okay, let's go check out our other field here. Dun dun. Oh, Acre's not out and about right. She doesn't like the rainy. She doesn't like the rainy day. She doesn't like to have to work outside on those days. Looks like we might be getting some better... No, those are sunflowers, aren't they? I'm like, it's getting hard to tell the sunflowers apart from the corn at this point. All right, we have one butternut squash. Oh, as I'm <laughs> wildly going through all of our inventory. Oh, two butternut squash. That's great. And I think we've already kept enough of our sweet potatoes. Let's try not to ship our food. That wouldn't be the greatest thing ever. We would be in trouble later. Yeah, that yark fish in the mornings is definitely still the best fish it looks like we can catch for money. Now, where would Garrick hide on a rainy day? <laughs> is he, oh, he's in here, perfect. When I was watching the river, I realized something. Even when it's dry out, the plants next to the water are still lush. What if the well water could flow on top like the river? That would make watering your crops so much faster. With the right supplies, I think I can come up with something that will work. 10 copper, 10 tin, any yarn, two of those, and any mushroom? All right, well, I think we can probably get all of that. I think if we use our new spindle with our fur, we would get yarn for that. So let's test it out. And then it's just a matter of grabbing everything out of our chest. Okay, so we only needed 10. We can manage that, no problem. Okay, there we go. We even have a mushroom. <laughs> what an odd thing to ask for. And then, oh, we have fur in here. So let's grab the boar fur. There's two of those. And let's test out our new contraption that we got last day. <coughs> okay, here we go. We are spinning and boar fur yarn. There we go. Oh yes quick turnaround. This is going to be great. I can't wait to see what comes out of this idea. Okay, into the main shed we go again, or the main, <laughs> the main hut. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess we live like animals in sheds. Have you ever noticed that the river gets lower in the summer than higher in the spring when it rains? The water is going into the sky somehow. All right, let's discuss this idea. Perfect, this mushroom will give me the thinking energy I need. Okay, now we know why he asked for the mushroom. <laughs> and the rest is great too. Now for the fun part, experimenting. Garrick has begun working on this idea. Irrigation, oh, that is gonna be fantastic. Okay, right, we were gonna go off to the beach to see if we can catch this small mouth fish that I don't think we have caught yet. Maybe we should just check our fishing here and make sure we haven't caught it yet because if we have caught it, we might as well go do something else because there's still a lot of gems that we need to get our hands on. 
especially if we want that final fishing upgrade. Oh, look at that smallmouth. We've already caught it. Perfect. We can scratch that one off the list. So I guess that means we might as well just take the shortcut and get all the way up into the mines. We can go and grab ourselves some more gems. That'll be pretty exciting. We need lots and lots of sapphire if we want to do this final upgrade. I think we have enough gold and silver. It's just, oh my goodness, with the amount of running we just did, we might as well just kept on going the way we were going. <laughs> uh, let's go to choose your totem. Perhaps we'll make the full loop. We can start on the bird side and we'll work our way back on the monkey side. Okay. Grab some more Jasper and all the other goodies here since we see them right away. Just in case we don't have time to make the full loop. You just never know. <laughs> and copper. Now we should also check and see what it will cost to get our next house upgrade. Oh, look at that sapphire. Because I think we could use a final house upgrade and then we're going to have to start friending the villagers. <laughs> And we can decide who we want to marry. So we're going to have to do that too at some point. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. Out of all the powers, like, the bird is okay. I don't necessarily like how we're always flying over these big black crevices. <laughs> It kind of gives us like a sense of getting lost or loneliness, or at least to me anyway. The monkey I think I enjoy more just because you, you have pillars that you hop to and from, like you know where, you have a path to follow I guess is where I'm getting at. Oh, more gems over here. This is good. We want to see lots of gems. We will take anything we can get our hands on. <laughs> Now, I'm kind of curious to see if we get that upgraded hand axe, if fishing would be any better with it. I'm, I'm not sure. I've never tested it out because I don't think I've ever, <laughs> ever had enough gems to craft it, so that might be fun to experiment. I can't see it being better than the harpoon, but it's one of those things where you just wouldn't know for sure until you actually tried it. Looks like we have... Oh, I thought we had another island over here. I guess not, just the main one. It fooled me by the border. <laughs> I'm like, I saw the green. There must be some place we can land, right? All right, silver. Oh, more sapphire. We definitely want tons and tons of sapphire. If we could walk away with like, what, 10 to 15 sapphire in a day, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I think we're dreaming that's probably not gonna happen but I wouldn't complain if it did like if we could get that accessory fully upgraded I would be so relieved and then we could focus on working on some other ones and maybe I should even do a bit of a poll so you guys can tell me if there's a certain accessory that you'd like to see upgraded that might be kind of fun too give us some direction to work towards. Ooh, I almost didn't think we could squeak between there. Look at that, another sapphire. Oh my goodness. If we can see a sapphire in every area, that would be fantastic. I'm not gonna worry about the food. I know we've got plenty, so stamina is not gonna be an issue today. It's the race against the clock. <laughs> Okay, need to eat. Not a problem. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. I just like that we're smashing so many rocks. <laughs> we no longer have to do it just to see if a new area will expand for us. Now there is one totem that we will still have to venture towards at some point. And that'll be once we figure out what it wants. <laughs> Because that was the horse totem. And I'm pretty sure I struggle with this every time I play this game because I can never remember what it is that it wants and when we can get it. So we will have to keep our eyes on that. 
because it would be kind of nice to be able to get that finished as well. Okay, I don't really remember if we found a lot of gems. Oh, a little bit here. It's starting to get late, so I'm like, we might just have to quickly dive onto the monkey side. But this is good. I see our gems stacking up and that bit of gold is kind of hiding back in there. <laughs> I do like that we can break open plain rocks and still get like gold and silver and gems. That's all really nice. Oh, I see more sapphire. <laughs> and to think we almost didn't come this way. <laughs> We just have the eyes for the sapphire. I'm so addicted to fishing in this game. <laughs> I just find it a lot of fun, especially when those five bar fish come up. Like, I find it stressful and a little exciting, but at the same time, I really enjoy it. Like, I do love the challenge, but oh my goodness, is it disappointing when we don't get it, but at the same time, when we do finally catch the fish, it is like one of the best feelings ever. <laughs> It's like we had success, we did it, we accomplished what felt like was impossible some other days. <laughs> and then I'm still very curious, oh my goodness, more sapphire, this is the best sapphire mining day ever. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Like the closer we can get to doing that upgrade, the better. I'm just so excited to see what it does. Oh my goodness, I see more sapphire. I cannot get over how lucky we are with the sapphire today. Like the other day, it didn't seem like we saw very much at all. And today it feels like it's everywhere and I'm loving it. I am so glad we ended up having caught that small mouth at some other point. <laughs> so just look at all the gems we would have missed out on. Opportunity costs, right? In order to fish, we would have had to give up mining. And now we know what we would have given up if we had gone fishing. <laughs> So even if we would have caught a few matter fish, I don't know that it would have been worth what we gave up in the mines. Like, it's just too good. I can't wait to see how many sapphire we walk away with in total. Okay, some more copper. We might as well grab it. We, we probably will need copper for our last house upgrade. I wouldn't be surprised if that was one of the requirements. I'm getting too excited. I like get into the floor and I'm like just scanning everywhere for more sapphire. I'm like, are we gonna get spoiled some more? Wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay, let's see what we can find when we hop across here. It's getting so late too. It's, you know, 8.30. I think we'll be able to make the full round no problem, which is excellent because we didn't get out here until, what was it, like 10.30, I think. So I think we're doing pretty good for time. I might just have to start prioritizing grabbing the gems if we want to have, oh my goodness, more sapphire. <laughs> this is so funny. I love it. The game is like rewarding us and you know, we've worked so hard. We've definitely earned all this sapphire. <laughs> Grab the gold here too. That's gonna be a very hot commodity for us if we wanna do a bunch of upgrading. And we need this gem over here too. Perfect. I kinda wanna grab, I'll maybe ignore the copper over there and we'll just grab some of the tin on the way back probably need more tin. I think we have way more copper than tin at this point because copper started showing up a lot earlier than the tin. But it is nice that both of them do show up in this area of the mines. Okay, we'll get the silver up here. And more silver. Fantastic. And some gold, and it looks like the rest is just all copper. <laughs> I'm just like so anxious. I get into the new room and I'm like, do we get more sapphire? Like every time. It's just, <laughs> we've gotten so lucky so far that I'm just like 
I almost expect it at this point. I'm like, it can't be a floor until we've seen Sapphire. <laughs> Oh no, our first one. But you know, in all fairness, some of the rooms we have seen more than one, so I think we can let that one go. What a nice gem harvesting day, like honestly. Oh, no, no worries. We still have food to munch on. We're good. <laughs> oh, it's getting so late. I think we've got to be pretty close to making the full loop now, so we should be okay. Yeah, I think this should be the very beginning. Perfect. So we can just teleport right back to the land here. And then we can take an inventory of how we did for gems. I, I feel like we did extremely well. Okay, if we're really quick, we'll even have time to dump them off in a chest. I'm really surprised we only got a single piece of Jasper, and that was like the thing we kept getting a ton of, and it kind of switched. Now we're getting lots of Sapphire, which is fantastic, because that's what we're wanting. <laughs> okay, the gem chest. Look at that, we got seven. So we're already at 13. I think we needed 25, so, you know, we are getting close. Soon it'll just be 10 more that we need. Oh, what a good feeling. Okay, our tin doesn't go in there, but look at all those gems. We're really starting to stack them up pretty well. I'm very happy with that progress. I think that is excellent. Okay, we'll grab our butternut squash there. I think we have just enough time to throw them into the contribution bin. We don't want to get yelled at for not contributing enough. <laughs> We kind of had some days that we didn't do a whole lot, so we'll make up for it here. Hello, little bunny. And off to bed we go. Oh, look at those contribution points. I'm sorry, guys. I clicked through it way too fast. I'm like pumped off of the sapphire. A race is happening today. Oh, goodness. Do we take our... Uh, speedy ostrich again or do we go with what we have I can't remember what we put as a mount dun, dun, dun. oh do we have some honey we do just a wild honey and I'm pretty sure that's because we have too many random plants planted here <laughs> okay we'll get this all nice and watered now It'd be kind of cool if we got like a really good gem gathering meal. I wonder if there is one. Like we've seen ones for ore and all of that good stuff. Okay, should we take our lucky green ostrich with us? Like that seems to be... Yeah, okay. We'll take, we'll take our green ostrich. I feel like we've had pretty good luck with it. How is everyone doing in here? I'm just not sure if we still get wool and stuff from all of these other guys, if uh, there are mount. I'm not sure if they keep producing stuff or not. Ooh, so much stuff. <laughs> okay, looks like some of our, oh, okay, that would explain it. We don't have plants all the way around that one. I'm like, why does some of our olas look so empty and other ones not? <laughs> That would explain it. Chili, butternut squash, and some watering. Oh, crawl, don't go too far. We need to inquire about an upgrade. I don't need to prove myself. My work does it for me. Oh, you know what's better than a good tool? Oh, a great one or two tools? A uh, great one. Exactly. <laughs> okay, what if we were to upgrade our house? Oh, really? We just need obsidian and hardwood. I'm actually really surprised by that. And 10,000 contribution points. So we're quite a ways away from the contribution there. But that's the only thing we can upgrade. So 
Let me know if you have anything that needs building. We will. Oh, our wonderful little ostrich buddy. I wonder if we can do a little bit of fishing just to see if we can get more of that really good fish before we head off to the races. Maybe we'll just fish until 11 a.m. Maybe we'll get away with. <laughs> I'm very curious to see if we can get some good profit going today. I mean, we usually seem to do fairly well when we go fishing. It's definitely good contribution points for us. Come on, we want a zippy fish. <laughs> Ooh, getting some good Tic Tacs. Look at us, we're just getting greedy. It's like we just want the same fish over and over again. We want to increase our knowledge with these fish. Oh, this one's excited. Oh, no, I got excited over nothing. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we can catch one, maybe two more fish, and then we should go do the races. It's not looking like our speedy little fish is going to come out to be caught today. It's so sad, but I guess it's fair because that fish is worth more. So the fact that you can only catch it halfway through the day is probably pretty fair. Okay. Um, ostrich hiding behind a tree. <laughs> Let's quickly put some stuff away, I think. Okay, we'll do all of those. And you know what? I think we'll just keep those sunflowers just in case and the wild honey too. I'm pretty sure we have enough of the chili. So we can just throw that out here. And our fish can go on the smoker. Okay, let's see if we can still participate in this race. Dun, 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 here we go. It's a great day to race. What would you like to do? Ooh, let's see what the prizes are. Stuffed dates is first place, pineapple chicken, or a wild pumpkin. Okay, so different places to race based on the season, I see. And these are the two that we've competed in. Gotcha. I see how it is. Uh, let's talk. And we definitely want to try racing. Let's see if we can snag ourselves first place. Ooh, look at this. This is neat. Oh, someone else is riding a green ostrich. My goodness. This race looks pretty intense. Oh my goodness. Gotta pay attention to where we're going. There's so many ostriches. Oh no, we ran into a shrub. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, the paths are so narrow in this one. Okay, ouch. I was gonna say everyone else is tripping too, so maybe that's where we'll get lucky. Uh oh, there's too many different paths to choose from. We need a little bit of a, a straightaway so we can actually run. This is wild. I'm too scared to sprint. Because <laughs> if we snag the edge, we slow down. So I'm like, can we hold it for a straighter? Oh, look at that. Oh, no. I bet the finish line is just up ahead. No, we slowed down. Oh, we got second again. But you know what? It's still good. We get pineapple chicken. We actually came close, closer than I thought we would because our start was <laughs> our start was pretty questionable. Okay, we got second place. Oh, Reese also gave us a gift, some hay bales, so our animals will love that. And what does pineapple chicken do? Just stamina. Okay. Well, good to know. Let's go throw our hay bales into our little feed shack. 
Dun, dun, dun. Probably gonna have to start harvesting some more grass and fiber for our animals. That's not the right place. Here we go. There. Oh, right. Do we dare go and try for more gems? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I think we might. I mean, fishing would be good too because we need those contribution points in order to get our house upgrade. So we really can't go wrong with either. <laughs> I think we just bounce back and forth. Like we either do a whole bunch of fishing in an episode or we do a whole bunch of mining. There doesn't seem to be like a nice balance between the two. <laughs> uh, I just kind of get on a bit of a, a bit for a little while and we kind of just got to roll with it. <laughs> Okay, like last time, I think we'll... Oh, I started at the wrong end this time. <laughs> we'll work our way backwards through the loop. But we won't have enough time to go everywhere because it's 1 p.m. and last time we barely made the loop and it was 10.30. So we're just gonna have to pick a side. I don't know about this. I'm scared. Okay, we did the monkey side last, so I guess we'll go to the owl side to start. Oh, look at that. There's silver there. It's telling us to go this way. Okay, can we get greedy with sapphire again? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds we would get that lucky two days in a row? So if we got another seven, that would bring us up to what, 20, I think, which would be fantastic. I'm not going to worry about grabbing the tin. Oh, look at that. There's sapphire. Uh, we'll just focus more on the gems and the gold and the sapphire today, just because we are so short on time. do so we found one sapphire already so i'm quite pleased with that nope doesn't look like there's any more over there the game's probably confused oh look at that there's another one oh i am loving this <laughs> the game must know that we are just like hunting for it we could use bear claws. We haven't really been using them lately. And I still can't remember. I think there might still be a spot in the mines that we haven't opened yet that we can with the bear claw. We might have to go looking for that too one of these days. Because I'm... I feel pretty sure that there was more than one spot. I think we only went back to one. Oh, sapphire. I am loving this. Oh, we just got two. Two out of a single rock. Like, how lucky was that? Yep, I think we need more sapphire. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think we're done yet. Uh, let's eat some of the pineapple chicken. Here we go. Lots of amethyst. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> okay, we would like to see three rocks of sapphire all lined up like the amethyst. That would be fantastic. Oh, we got some gold over here. I should really just consider ourselves lucky because to be honest, I was not expecting us to find even one rock of sapphire after yesterday. So the fact that we actually have four pieces is pretty good in my books. <clears throat> okay, so we've already made it back. So by not taking <laughs> all of the copper and tin and everything else we're actually making pretty good time so maybe we'll even be able to cruise through the monkey side as well we'll see worst case scenario we just pass out we 
We are just like on a little sapphire hunting spree. <laughs> Dun, dun. Here we go, little monkey. Let's hop to some gems. It's like, no, you've mined this area so hard the other day. We're not going to spawn a bunch of gems back. <laughs> go some other, go to some other place in the mines. <laughs> like, really, there's definitely not as many as there was yesterday. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Okay. There we go. A little bit more. Next island. <laughs> oh, look at our little monkey jump. It is just so adorable. Wow, this side kind of got taken over by the plant fiber. Clearing all those rocks yesterday, it's like, yep, we'll just grow a bunch of plant fiber over here and not let you check out the very <laughs> end of the area. <laughs> Gotta break some plain rocks. Nope, we're good. Okay, little monkey, let's go. Will there be more sapphire up here? We are just itching to get that accessory upgraded. Like, I thought it was gonna take forever and ever, and to be fair, it could still take a very long time to get it upgraded, but I feel like we made a <coughs> lot of progress this round. <laughs> okay. Oh, another gem. Wow. Today, it's the amethyst that is absolutely crazy in here. And here we go, leaping away. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, it's just too cute. Okay, a little bit more there. Anything else up here? Oh, tripping over the rocks. There's just too many. Oh, more gems up here. Wow, we've gotten four of those. Uh, no more stamina again. I don't know what it's talking about. <laughs> this is what we cook all the meals for. Oh, some more gold. We haven't come across any more sapphire yet though, which is a little disappointing. I was getting excited thinking that we would see a whole bunch more of it, but that hasn't been the case. I think we might actually have time to check out one more little area very quickly. All right, so let's go back to our little warp spot here. Um, I think the clouds garden was another fairly good gem area. Or maybe not. Maybe this wasn't the area I was thinking of. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, what area were we thinking of here? <coughs> um, maybe... No, probably the bear room. I was gonna say, this is that deserty place that was really dark. Um, bear room, let's try that one. And <laughs> not much of anything. Okay. Oh, look at that, Sapphire. Nope, we're good. We found some. <laughs> Getting lots of bear claws. We're actually going to have to start using those. We haven't really bothered with them much. But it's good to know that we are getting so many. Like, we've definitely got a lot breaking the gems. Okay, let's go throw everything back into our chest, see how we're doing. We've definitely got some improvement in our gem collection, but 
not nearly as good as yesterday. We might have to just take a fishing break. <laughs> Maybe the mines need to regenerate just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, we did get five sapphires, so that's pretty good. And over here, there we go. And we'll grab all of these. Wonderful. Our contribution bin will be so pleased with us. Is that a wolf that's still out here? I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what did we just pet? <laughs> Okay, all nice and contributed. That is fantastic. Let's call it a night here. Yes, we want to sleep. Ooh, a mural. That'll be exciting. And we got 802 contribution points for the day. Ibex and Ibex's baby has arrived. Oh, we're just going to get the same color. I was going to say, oh, I wonder what color it is. But then I'm like, no, we bred two of the same color. So we're just guaranteed the one. <laughs> All right, baby bunny. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Garrick seems to be taking a long time with this idea. <laughs> I was hoping that he'd be done by now because I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited to start progression in this new idea venture. <laughs> Let's get everything watered here. And then we're getting pretty close to the end of fall. We only have seven more days, which I don't know. It seems like the seasons have gone by so quickly. But to be fair, we have just been so busy. We've been busy in the mines and busy with our animals and busy with fishing that the time has just been flying right by. Oh, look at that. Someone put the hay bales out. I love that we don't have to worry about feeding the animals. Like <laughs> For any of you that play Roots of Pacha, I highly recommend the large animal shed if you are wanting to keep animals. It is like spoil yourself good. <laughs> so convenient. I think it's a little strange that we can walk right through our animals, but you know, it's it's convenient. We don't get stuck anywhere. That's a problem in some games where you get blocked by your animal and you're trying to wait for it to move and <laughs> it's just not fun at that point. So it's kind of nice that you can just walk right through them, but still a little strange at the same time. You know, take what you can. <laughs> All right, got a few more pumpkins left growing here. Look at that. Okay, done. Let's go get our plants and stuff all sorted out. And then we will do some morning fishing and see how it goes. I think we're good just to toss all of that in there. I'm still very pleased with our mining progress. Now let's see if we are lucky enough to catch this morning fish. Dun dun dun. Hi little fish. We're not seeing any of the zippy ones. But that's what we want to see. We want some nice, big, zippy fish out here. And we have to try and gift Nock, I think it is, some of them. Is he the one that does the fishing? No, I think he's the one that does the cooking. Oh my goodness, who's... It's hard to remember back to the first episode. It was like, who was the one that was taking over the fishing? There was too many of us that had our rite of passage in one day. <laughs> it's okay. We will figure it out. No worries. 
Maybe I should eat one of our cooking dishes here. Make some fish spawn. You know what? Let's eat our biggest one, plus four to fish spawning. Hopefully that will get that fish out here. Like, I mean, the dream would be to catch more than one in a day, but let's face it, we would be happy with even just one. Or at least a chance at just one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know, these fish don't seem to be spawning in any faster. <laughs> okay, we'll try another pool. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we're not having any luck here. That's not good. We only have like half an hour left and then no chance. Oh, this is not good. It's getting into those crucial minutes. Oh no. Oh no, I think we're out of luck, guys. It's just not happening. <laughs> we got lucky last time. Okay, let's venture around and see if we can find our fisherman over here. Like, wasn't he usually like fishing over here? At least in spring he was. Let's grab more free pumpkins. Maybe we have to check the other rivers and stuff. Oh, can we see him on a map maybe? Although we would need to know his name. Oh, I think it's this guy. Where are you hiding? Aha. <laughs> okay, let's go see if we can gift him a fish and whether or not he likes it. Because it'd be really cool to find out if he is the one that gives us like that really good fishing dish and again, we might just unlock it with our bigger house upgrade. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> so we're going to do both just to see what we can get our hands on for cooking recipes. Oh, look at that. It looks like he's teaching away. Yeah, let's skip that. Oh, thanks, Pip. I don't know. Do you guys think he was excited about it? He didn't look very excited about it. <laughs> Okay, uh, where is a good profitable place to fish? I'm like not as interested with the beach at the moment just because our really fun summer fish is gone. So maybe we go up to the forest lake and do some more fishing up there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to decide after a certain amount of time. I should have just ran there. I know better at this point. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We're going to get there. The best part is, is that our village is coming along very well. Everything's getting like expanded and upgraded and our clan is prospering and we're definitely setting down our roots here it seems, so that's pretty neat. Grab some more cabbage seeds and into the fishing we go. Oh, here come the little hammers. I'm still very excited to see if we can get fishing level five with the hammers and if that gets them even better than what we currently have. Because we still have only seen like that triangle level quality. We ha Oh, look at that. We finally got an even better quality. Best quality. Best, better, good, and nothing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have a very difficult time remembering that order. <laughs> so that's cool. We can get them with fishing level four. And I'm assuming that'll give us like a plus five or plus six to our fish spawning if we cook it into that dish. So that'll be kind of cool to see as well. Definitely prime hammer opportunity here. <laughs> Oh, another good one. Okay, that's exciting. Maybe these better or best quality hammers. Oh, is this a knife tooth? Nope. 
I got excited. I'm like, ooh, do we finally see a fire bar fish? <laughs> uh, not quite. Mm, that's okay, but I'm very excited to see if the best quality fish cooking them up, if that will give us a better chance of getting the yark fish. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's what we're rolling with. <laughs> Oh, sneaky fish. It's like the hammer time of day is past or something. The better fish are starting to sneak out. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm doing a terrible job at catching this fish. I think I'm still really excited about all the sapphire we've been finding. I'm like fighting the urge to go back into the mines. Uh-oh. That's not good. little bit of a controller disconnect there. We will try with the mouse here and then see if I can get my controller working again. Kind of funny how it's fully charged and giving me issue. <laughs> There we go. Okay. I have decided I want to go back into the mines. I am so addicted to hunting for sapphire right now. And I'm not quite sure what was up with our controller in the midst of fishing there. <laughs> that wasn't very fun. Hopefully we don't have any more issues. I'm like, hmm, it's fully charged. I know it is. <laughs> Shouldn't be losing signal. <laughs> okay. More silver. That's always a good thing. I know there was like other areas and I, I'm kind of wishing I would have wrote them down. I mean, this definitely is one of the better areas to do the gem hunting. But I know in the desert area, like, we started getting some pretty good gems, too. I like how we're just stumbling around in the dark. Our torch just isn't bright enough. Oh good, a sapphire. It's worth it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Just, like, madly running through. <laughs> It's so late, we probably won't get down both sides, but I think we'll find a way to live with that. This is what happens when we become indecisive, but it's okay. <laughs> if we can make it back to the choose your totem area, I think we'll be doing good. Probably should have done the owl side. I think that side ends up going a little bit faster than the monkey because the Owl flight is smoother and you can fly in a straight line where the monkey is uh, kind of like back and forth, but it's kind of more fun, so I don't know. I guess it depends what your preference is. Oh my goodness, so many things to break now, <laughs> but that's good. That's what we want. Okay, more gems. Here we come. And a little bit of gold right next to our little golden friend. <laughs> that actually is something that I should check because I think one of our accessories can up our chances of getting multiples when we mine. What do we currently have on? Yes, this is the one. Rock or rocks will yield more and it seems to be working with gems as well so that's pretty exciting okay we're fully bonded with everything which is fantastic and of course we're getting that plus three to fish rarity which is what's helping those five bar fish come out more often which is why i really want to see it upgraded the final time to see how much better it can possibly get because you know some days it feels pretty good other days, maybe not so much, but you know, you're always going to have those days where it's like hit or miss. 
do 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 do. And then we're gonna have to reevaluate what all of our other gems will do too, because I'm sure that there's other ones that we can probably craft while we work on getting more of our sapphire at this point. But again, if we do that, it's gonna take away from being able to get that new hand axe as well. So <laughs> it's like big decision time. I'm like, is that new hand axe like really worth it or is it just like a very end game like just to say you got it kind of thing <laughs> i'm not sure like i honestly am not i might have to look into it a little bit more to see if it's worth it or if we should just guilt free spend away on our accessories Okay, the monkey side is not favoring us very well today. We've only seen a single sapphire. Not even like a lot of other gems. Like I said, I think we've been like mining this area pretty hard lately. <laughs> the gems just don't want to spawn back in as large of an abundance as they were earlier. Again, lots of amethyst. Like that seems to be the thing all of a sudden. No, I think we're good. Let's keep on rolling. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to pass out in here. <laughs> I think it is going to be pretty close today, but I think we're fairly close to the entrance. It's, I should have ate one of the fish dishes. Ate too good of a meal for this late at night. Okay, any good gems over here? No, let's just get going <laughs> before we're like passed out on the floor. <laughs> All right, and just like that, we are back. Okay, quick mad dash to the house. I don't think we... Oh yeah, we're going to get these fish on the smoker. But we're going to chance it. <laughs> I have faith in us, we can do it. There we go. And I think we are... Oh, no, those ones. There we go. Oh, we're even going to get these gems put away. We're good. <laughs> there we go. 19 Sapphire. We're getting there. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. So close. Okay, now I'm very excited to cook up these hammers and see this best quality dish. I don't even think we looked to see what we could cook now that we got our new cooking tool either. So we might have to just quickly peel through all of these cooked dishes now. Okay, anything looks good. That's what we need to know. Any flour, oh, interesting. Egg and oil. Any fat and any meat, just an almond. Okay, corn, oh yeah, just corn. We could probably cook that up too. Okay, so we definitely do have more cooking recipes, but there is obviously more we can get. And off to bed we go. Okay, we've got that mural going and only 219 points. We'll get more tomorrow when we get our wonderful smoked fish going. <laughs> I just love our indecision lately. It's like fishing, no mining, no fishing, no mining. <laughs> it's like the internal war is just raging on. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got another pumpkin ready to go. That is exciting. I'm glad that we planted as many pumpkins as we did. Because they definitely take a long time to grow and it's going to take a while to get the knowledge upgrades with those. My goodness, is Garrick still not finished that idea? This must be like the longest idea in the history of ideas going, or is he done? 
Oh, good. He did it. He knows how to make watering the fields easier. Ooh. Okay, Reese wants to liven up the land with some art. And, ooh, 10 tin. That's pretty good. We will definitely take it. We won't say no to tin. Like, come on. <laughs> All of these watered. Oh, we forgot to get more animals in our breeding pen. We need to do that, definitely. Okay, tin. We definitely have enough obsidian if we want to do an upgrade, which is good. Let's check our animals this morning. Oh, we have some cleaning to do. Dun, dun, dun. At least that's the good thing about coming to see the animals so early in the morning, is that if we want to talk to them early and get it done, then we have to go inside the shed so we can actually check them and see how clean they are. I wonder if we're going to be running out of space soon. I'm like so flustered with how many animals we have that I wouldn't even know which ones to release at the moment. <laughs> Looks like we have two, f another fully grown ostrich too, so let's see what we can do need to do some breeding. I don't know, did we do the white one before? Or did we do the brown one? I can't remember. So it's like a white and a gray one. And we got a brown one. So we must have bred the brown one before. So this would be generation two that we're looking at. Sure. No more. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, we need to build more animal sheds already and we could definitely do that. Let's go see what one would take. <laughs> but I kind of want to like fully upgrade it. Gerald always claims he's helping the hunters but I only ever see him playing music. Okay if we wanted oh, if we wanted to build a small animal shed. Oh small storage shed. A good place to put stuff and things. How long have we been able to craft that? Because it's not the same as a granary. I bet we could get rid of some of our chests doing that. Very interesting there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so breeding pen. We can make more than one of those. We could have multiple animals breeding at the same time. Oh, that's overwhelming to think about. Okay, 30 wood, 20 stone. I think we can handle that. Let's get another animal shed going. At some point, we're just going to have to start releasing our animals, but I think we'll maybe do this last animal shed. Okay, stone. Yes. And wood. Let's go. We'll make one more fit, no problem. <laughs> and, okay, good. We can kind of manage some later. That's always good to know, too. Oh my goodness. It, it seems like that shed is so big. Okay, we will... Yeah, I think I like it there. The animals have room to come out and they'll be kind of blocked by our stuff, but I think that's probably the most convenient place to put it. <laughs> Hopefully the animals don't mind. Okay, so that'll be done in two days. So I think we'll pick up our animal breeding again as soon as we have that as a large animal shed because that's going to take some contribution points. So that kind of settles it for us. We really need to get some fishing done. <laughs> need to be able to make some profit here. Uh, we got 10 onions. We should be good there. Okay, the morning day is kind of like just burning away here. We need to see if we can catch this really good fish. And what do we got going on here? Plus five to the fish spawning. Okay, good. We are definitely going to chew on that and cross our fingers that this nice, big, juicy fish shows up. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go for it. We are, we're determined. Come on, our little fishy friend. We know you want to. <laughs> We're going to take a break from sapphire hunting just so we can get some upgrades going and all that fun stuff so we can carry on with our animal breeding. 
Although the irony is, is that if we got that accessory upgraded, we'd probably catch more valuable fish very quickly, so... <laughs> like, you just really can't go wrong. It's just a matter of what you want to prioritize. Just too many different ways we can go about doing the same thing. <laughs> I think in winter, if we can get this irrigation system, oh, we still have to talk to him. Okay, we will track him down as soon as noon rolls around. We'll go find out where Garrick's hiding. I think that'll be a good idea. I feel like that fish is moving faster, but it's probably not. I'm like, we would have a super zippy fish on our hands if we were catching the one we think we're catching. <laughs> It'd be just zipping all over. Here we go. No, no, no. Don't scare it. Don't scare it. We need this one. We really need this one. We want those good points. Oh, fish. You are fighting us today. Ho, ho, ho. It's on, fish. We are going to catch you. You just wait. <laughs> You're intimidating us. <laughs> the intimidation is real. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's all over the place. We can do this. Ooh, don't scare it. We're so close. We don't want to lose it now. We've come too far. There we go. We caught it. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Okay, well, we know it's too late for it to spawn again, so it's too bad that it's the lowest quality. Like, I cannot imagine what this fish would be worth if it was, like, higher quality levels. Okay, Garrick, where are you hiding? By the beach entrance. Okay, uh, let's put our other fish on the smoker, too. <laughs> you know, we'll be productive here. There we go. We made three smokers for a reason. Let's get them in use. <laughs> okay, Garrick, here we come. We want to check out your idea because I'm sure it is a really good one. I feel very confident. Oh, there he is. What is he doing? Is he looking at shells? He's looking at rocks and tossing them over his shoulder. <laughs> Look at that. He's comparing them. And then he tosses one. <laughs> It'll work. We can draw the water up with a pump and then guide it with trenches to where we want it to flow. So we have an irrigation pump and all the other good stuff. Okay, irrigation. Here we go. Start by placing a pump with the sprout, with the spout pointing in the direction you want the water to flow. Okay. Starting from the spout, connect trenches to the pump. You can connect up to nine trenches to a pump. You remove trenches from the endpoints. To have more than nine trenches in a system, you need an extender. Each one will let you add nine additional trenches. When you're ready to start watering, activate the pump. Trenches will water the adjacent tiles and the tile in between two irrigation trenches. Okay, so I can water up to three places so long as we do three wide and trench on each side. Okay, irrigation systems need to be activated daily. You can drain the system if you want to change the layout after pumping. Okay, that's good to know too. Uh -huh. We feel empowered now, everyone. <laughs> Now, if I recall correctly, I think these are quite pricey to have to craft. So let's go check that out too. Because it'll be trenches and extenders that we're really going to need a lot of. Hardwood and yarn. So yeah, the yarn and the hardwood, that's going to be... And then plant fiber and stone. Okay, well, we have lots of stone. Plant fiber, we kind of have an abundance too. We should really upgrade our sickle here. Uh, 
Okay, well we definitely want to get this set up for winter and then we can have a nice big garden for winter. Wouldn't that be fun? Usually you don't do any gardening in winter and in this game we'll just be like really getting started. <laughs> we'll be finally going big with all the planting. Oh my goodness, I'm using up so much energy, but we're gonna need it. The animals need it. We're gonna need it for crafting. It's gonna be so weird. We'll be saying goodbye to the Olas or we'll be moving them is probably what we'll end up do end up doing. I just love it when I cut myself off halfway through a sentence. <laughs> it's funny the way the brain works sometimes. Okay, we got this going up here. Probably should just cut it down this way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Our poor stamina bar. <laughs> yep. Definitely need the energy here. But that's okay. That's why we did so much clearing, because we wanted to have the space. We knew we were going to need it one day. Okay, so we need to start with a pump. So, I don't know. I kind of would like it somewhat in the middle. <laughs> we'll guess here, maybe in the way. There we go. And then we need to start with the trenches, right? Look at that. So if we start going like this way and even the other way here, so it'll water the one above and the one below. Oh, I think we're gonna have to fill in that spot there. There we go. Now we should be able to place one. There we go. So it'd water all around that little area, I think, is how I understand it. So that should be pretty good. And then we might want to go down as well. We'll have to get this figured out. And then, of course, an extender. Of course, we're always in the way. So we'll kind of have to count it out because it seems like the optimal watering area is going to be like having three by three all the way across. So that'll be good to know. And now I think we can go back to our little fishing venture because <laughs> the rest of the stuff we need is going to take a little bit to do. Like this is why we've been kind of hoarding and trying to breed more animals that have, <laughs> oh, we're going to the forest, right? Uh, that have the fur because we obviously need a lot of fur in order to build all of these extenders really and then the trenches of course so it's always good that we've been you know slowly progressing towards stuff that we need and we're doing it in our nice hoarding fashion <laughs> oh my goodness i'm like out of energy again <laughs> All of that plant fiber gathering has just like worn us right out. Okay, well, I think we will save our very best dish for in the morning. <laughs> just because it seemed to work quite well. I don't know if it'll work that well every time, but you know, it definitely helped that fish come out. So I'm excited. Is this the 412? Yeah, okay. I'm like, I can't tell if it's moving slightly faster than the one we're currently on. I think there's two different types of the four bar fish in this pond. There we go. We'll get all the contribution points we can possibly muster up today and then that'll help us in our future endeavors with the house and the animal shed. We're gonna get there. It's gonna be fun. We'll just take our time and go at our own pace. There's no there's no major rush. It's just fun to kind of challenge ourselves every once in a while. I do enjoy it. Make ourselves some goals and see how quickly we can aspire to reach them. Oh, that's a quick one. Haha. -ha. The knife tooth. Oh, you tricky little. <laughs> it's trying to shake us. It's really trying hard. 
could very well do so. Try not to startle it. Yikes. It's always so nerve-wracking when you know it's getting close to the edge and you know it's going to dart in a different direction and you're kind of like, okay, what direction is it going to go? We need to know. Oh no, stuck on a rock. <laughs> okay, perfect. We got one. I like how we've gone from seeing like absolutely none of those fish to having caught like, what is that? Like our fourth or fifth one? Is that another one? Okay, no. <laughs> Getting too excited. You know, between the fishing and the sapphire, it's just like, it's been a very exciting episode for me. Dun, dun, dun. I'm like really torn because on one hand I kind of want the hammers because I really want the knowledge level 5 but at the same time I want to catch the other fish too so we can get more contribution points but also so we can increase our knowledge of those fish as well and get better quality. Okay are we just going to get a bunch of these three bar fish now? It kind of looks like it. These ones only seem to come out fairly late at night, like, I don't notice them as much earlier in the day. So I'm just like, well, I like catching the fish, but at the same time I'm like, eh, I'd kind of rather catch the fish that come out more often. Uh oh, I'm starting to get paranoid, there's too many speedy fish around, but I'm pretty sure those are just four bars too. They're not moving fast enough for the five bar. I don't think. <laughs> okay, one more fish. It looks like that's all we have stamina for anyway, and then we should probably head on back. No, nope, just a bunch of the little three bar ones. <laughs> oh, and it goes for the rock. The rock of doom. <laughs> Okay, let's head on home, see if we can get all these fish out on the smoker. Maybe we'll be lucky and our other fish will be smoked already. Dun dun dun. Okay, here we go. I should really move our smokers down by the little warp area. That would probably be pretty brilliant, right? Because there's a shipping bin right there, so we could easily just pull off and throw them back on. We'll have to get that area cleared up so we can make good use of that because I think that would be pretty handy for us. Okay, what else do we have? A couple of these. Perfect. And I think we're just gonna craft those into meals. Like, we could smoke them. They are worth a little contribution, but I don't know. I just feel like we get more out of it if we turn them into meals because then we get more chances for those rare fish to come out. And I feel like we get a better payoff when we do it that way. I could be wrong. Again, it's kind of like all personal preference. Uh, but for now, we're just going to cook those up. Perfect. Okay, let's head on off to bed. Okay, how are we doing? We got lots of contribution points. That's fantastic. 1,917 contribution. We will take that. All right, everyone. I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.